Hello everyone. So today I learned about a thing called Earth Day. Um, it's, it's basically an annual event that's celebrated around the world today on April 22nd each year. Um, it's basically you supporting your environmental protection stuff. Um, if you go to earthday.org, they have a lot of stuff you can do, a lot of, um, live talks and stuff about environmental protection, how you, what you can do to protect the earth and, um, just how we impact and our, impact our, our earth, you know, what we could do to, um, eliminate a lot of trash that's cluttering up our lands and stuff and, Making it hard for wildlife and whatnot to, to survive and stuff. So, um, I guess this year, uh, the theme is climate action. Um, basically you're wanting to do stuff that's gonna have minimal impact on the climate change. The, your, your the, you know, like your emissions from like your vehicles and stuff that goes up into the air and... It basically affects the ozone layer, you know, and so like without the ozone layer, our planet's not going to be able to, to thrive, you know, be able to keep like the atmosphere and the, the oxygen stuff down on Earth and whatnot. And, you know, things aren't going to survive because the ozone layer is what helps keep the like atmosphere and gravity and oxygen and whatnot, you know, trapped to Earth where we can survive and the animals survive. So, you know, a lot of things you can do is... Recycle, reduce, reuse. You know, if you could, something you can reuse, reuse it instead of just letting it go to the landfills and cause hazards to your wildlife. Because, you know, we depend on, you know, wildlife for our food and whatnot. And also our plants that we also survive on. Because without, you know, the ozone and the atmosphere and stuff, they're not going to be able to breathe and whatnot. And then we, you know, we don't have our food and whatnot to, 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 to thrive and, you know, do what we need to do. So, you know, instead of, like, driving, if you are able to walk or ride your bike to where you need to go, then do it. Or, you know, public transportation, just cut down on fossil fuel usage. Because a lot of fossil, you know, your fossil fuels come out of, um the earth and stuff and when we're digging up the earth we're killing off plants and whatnot that you know our wildlife eats like you know your deer elk bunny rabbits you know things like that that use vegetation plants whatnot to eat and then when they're dead your predators and you know whatnot aren't gonna have animal uh food and then they're gonna die off and then what do we have an empty earth we have nothing you know so yeah, um, so, you know, bicycle, walk as much as you can, limit your use of things, you know, recycle, reuse what you can, find things that are limited, it has, like, limited packaging, you know, you don't want to buy, like, one toy that has, like, a ton of packaging, you have to go through, like, layers and layers of packaging just to get to your toy or whatever, you know, or your food, you don't want to buy food that's going to have like 10 layers to get through just to get to your one apple or whatever, you know. So that's my thoughts and ideas on Earth Day, climate change and whatnot. Because, you know, as you, as, from what I've noticed, it seems like our winter's more late summer, fall weather. And, you know, and spring's becoming more of a winter weather. You know, with all the snow and stuff. You know, especially this past year. I didn't see, like, really any snow on the ground during November, December. It was all came more towards February, March, you know, when the no snow should be melting and whatnot. So it's like, it's almost like the, the seasons are switching, gravitating, whatever. You know, winter's becoming more like summer or fall, you know, it's like, it's becoming all backwards and stuff, I guess. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, just just think about it. What are we leaving our children when, when we die? We're leaving them with a shitty place to live because we're trashing it. Because we seem to give a crap, you know. And so they're left to, to picking up our, our mess, you know. I mean, think about, like, you know, the parents with kids. You don't want to have to pick up after them. You know, you want them to be able to pick up after themselves. You don't want to have to go around picking up after them. What are we leaving the next generations? Our mess to pick up. And it's not their responsibility to pick up after a mess. It's our responsibility. So we need to learn to, you know, do what we can to protect this place so they have a good, you know, leave it better for them, you know. So they're not having to, to work extra to clean up after us. You know, I mean, you, you wouldn't want to have to clean up after someone. A mess that you didn't make. Why should we expect the next generation to pick up after our mess? Fix what we messed up. So, that's my thoughts on this. So, me and the kids are going to go do some walking Maybe do a little picking up or trash and stuff. So do what we figure out what we can do to reduce, recycle, reuse, kind of pick up trash and stuff so the wildlife don't um, so the, the the wildlife don't you know get sick off of it. I mean, yeah, cause we're messy. Us humans are very messy creatures, in my opinion. So, yeah. Leave your comments and thoughts, and peace out.